At a home outside Longmont, it took minutes for a 911 call about a medical emergency to turn into a criminal investigation. And all units responding to Portico CPR is going to be in progress. First responders found a 60-year-old man suffering from traumatic injuries. He passed away a few days later on Christmas Eve. On the night of the attack, deputies identified a suspect. Michael Lucky. RP mentioned that she had a protection order with the male and believes that he may be involved in this. A woman who was in a relationship with Lucky told investigators he may be responsible for this attack. The man who died is her father. Court records say the woman moved out of her home with Lucky to live with her parents to protect herself and their one-year-old son. That suspect, Michael Lucky, was arrested last week for DV and also may have access to weapons. This month, Lucky was arrested for violating a protection order less than two weeks before deputies say he attacked the woman's dad. Lucky was released from jail after posting bond, and now he's back behind bars, waiting to face a possible murder charge. RP states the bedroom door that leads outside was completely shattered. Deputies found an axe in the backyard just outside the bedroom. Lucky turned himself in that morning. Now, the district attorney's office said they required a $50,000 cash-only bond in that previous case. The judge set a lower cash or surety bond. Domestic violence deaths reached a record high last year. A quarter of the deaths involved collateral victims, which can be children or adult family members who try to intervene. All right, Kelly, thank you.